Sorry, I guess I haven't got my conductor's license yet. What's up everybody? This is Travis from Dual Humor, bringing you guys my train deck profile. This deck is so much fun. It is the Uba OTK deck of the century. I have so much fun with it. I brought it to the Brooklyn Regionals and I had some really great results with it. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoy it because I got some spice that not a lot of people are expecting. And uh, yeah, I think you guys really enjoy it. So let's move on to it. So we're running with a 40 card list. Start with just two, Knight Express Knight. Uh, normal summon, its attack becomes zero, level 10, Earth Machine. Um, it's a great starter card, you'll be searching this out a lot. Just the one Ruffian Rail car. Um, I've seen some people play three, you really only need one. During the end phase, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a level 10 Earth Machine from your deck to your hand. So it's really nice to kind of accure resources for your next turn. Um, but you really want to just be pitching this for certain cards. And uh, yeah, that's kind of its only function. It does come off of the field spell as well. But uh, yeah, you don't really only need it at one. Moving on. Three... Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Upon normal summon, you can summon an Earth Machine or Special Summon. Summon a Earth Machine from your graveyard to your uh, field. You can target a card on the field. Both that card and this card can become the level of either one of the cards. Kind of confusing, um, but if it's a level 10, you can make them both level 10. Easy um, rank 10. Or you can make them both level 4 um, because it's a level 4. So, yeah, easy rank 10. Right. Um, this is like a good follow up card, can also be a good starter. Um, you'll be recurring this back to your hand too with some other cards that we'll get into. Moving on, Heavy Freight Chain, Derek Crane. They just went straight out to the yard, took a picture of a train, slapped that on a card. Bang, bang, boom. There you go. Choo, choo. Detach. Pops card on the field. Not once per turn. You'll be recurring this card a bunch. You can use it multiple times in a turn. I've used it three times in a turn. It definitely happens. Because uh, sometimes you'll get two underneath a monster. You use its effect twice. Or that card in another rank up. So, yeah. Pop a card in the field. Also, upon the summon of an Earth Machine, you special this from hand. So, a lot of times I'll summon a monster. I'll go chain Derekrain because it is upon the resolution of the summon. So, even if they respond to your summon, you can then chain this. So, yeah, it comes up a lot. For the last train we run is three Super Bolt Express Train. This card, during the end phase, if it's in the graveyard and was sent there this turn, you can add a machine monster in your graveyard to your hand. So any machine, so you can recur any of your XYZs or any other card that's a machine. A lot of times you'll be actually returning your Pegasus back to your hand. That way that you have a easy rank 10 next turn. Um, also, if you control all Earth machines, all monsters are Earth machines. Special this from hand. So oh. sometimes you'll summon Derek Crane. Um, and then summon this afterwards. So a lot of times you'll have these three boys on field. Um, the big boys. This is kind of like the standard line of play mm -hmm. that you'll go through. This this deck is very, very linear, but that's great. I don't like to think. I don't like to read. I'm an average Yu-Gi-Oh player. So <laughs> Illiteracy is a thing in this game. <laughs> oh, no. Card text, <laughs> my old foe. Um, Gamma Seal. We run Kaijus in this deck. Uh, big problem is... Uh, monsters like Colossus, um, you know, the Galatea, the Wolf, anything that's going to facilitate their negations. This is a really easy way to out like that one monster um, against pendulum boards. You can start to break their board with this card if you know, you know, get the Appaloosa off the field, things like that. Um, in tandem with that, we run the two. Jizikiru. Jizikiru. Um, only run the two. I, you can also run just three of this card, but if you have this kaiju on their side of the field, summon this from your hand, guess what? It's a level 10 machine. So works really well in tandem with the deck. You can also recur this card back to your hand by using Bullet Express in the end phase um, to add this machine back to your hand. So pretty great. It's also semi-searchable, which I'll get into later. Onto the spells. Switchyard, huh? Three Switchyard. Um, two effects, pitch card, search a level 10 earth machine from your deck to your hand. Other effect, um, is if you summon an earth machine, a uh, level 10 earth machine, you can summon a level four earth machine from your deck with, oh, sorry, I kicked the camera. Um, a level four earth machine from your deck with, um, I believe it's 1800 attack or more. And, uh, so that can come into play because you'll be summoning your Pegasus and then using its effect. So this is kind of, in terms of, on your turn, this will be, like, the last thing you'll want to do because you can't um, 
conduct your, or you can't inflict battle damage to your opponent that turn. Oh. So it kind of goes, conflicts with the point of the deck, which is the OTK. Your games are going to last five minutes, so that can conflict, but you will be using that effect during your opponent's turn, which I'll also get into later. Um, on Terraforming, search it out. Of course. Oh, on to the most broken spell in this deck. You really want this spell to resolve. Um, urgent Schedule. So, Flash Spell, so you can set it, um, which is really, really great if they make you go first. You can set this, and you'll get this effect on your opponent's turn, which can also proc your Switchyard. So, really, really amazing. Um, its effect is that you can summon a level 4 um, or lower, and then a level 5 or higher from deck machines. So, uh, really, really fantastic. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is how you'll be able to get... So, if this is, like, maybe one of the only lines of play that you'll do, you'll summon these two. That way, in the end phase, you'll get the Pegasus back. That way, next turn, you know you'll have your rank 10 by normal summoning this, summoning this, making them both level 10. That's your rank 10. So, it's a one-card rank 10 for your next turn, but it can also get that Link Fodder on the field. Sometimes, if you already have Pegasus, you'll summon the Ruffian. So, additional resource grabbing. So, you can actually accrue a lot of resources in this deck like don't underestimate even though i would say trains are inherently a neg one because you're using two monsters to make one so inherently neg but if this card's popped you can also add a level 10 machine from your deck to your hand so also a way that you can search jizikiru um so jizikiru is semi-searchable if you pop this on your own turn which i have done in games and tournaments is i'll use a twin twister pop this in one of their back row to get the Jizukiro, continue from there. Um, moving on, I run the one special schedule just to be cheeky, because I'm a cheeky bastard. Um, <laughs> this card just Monster Reborn for a level 10 Earth Machine with 3,000 or more attacks, so um, kind of specific, or no, I'm sorry, just a machine. So you can summon Jizukiro off this, um, but yeah, so that's kind of one of the only reasons I run it is that it's a spell extender. Also, if it's popped, you can add a level 10 machine from your graveyard to your hand, Come so it does have time. resource yeah. grabbing potential. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting card. You don't have to run it, I just do because it's funny. So, Pot of Desires? Two Pot of Desires. Um, we want a lot of three ups in this deck. We really don't care what we banish. Um, I'm not man enough to run three because I have drawn one. Um, off of the three in tournaments, and it's just such a bummer. Um, I mean, you can potentially pitch it with the switch yard, but by then you've already used that effect. So uh, just run two. Uh, you really don't need more, but yeah, it's a really great plus one. You really want to go as plus as you can. Moving on, just the two called by the graves. Um, this card's not entirely necessary, but getting hand trapped can really suck with this deck considering you only have like a certain line of play. Um, so if they ghost ogre your XYZ, that's kind of it. Um, so you don't want that to happen. It's also an additional spell. I call this like a shotgun spell. Like you can just use this if you need to get spells in your graveyard, which we'll get into why that's a factor. Main decking, two twin twisters, oh my gosh, there can only be one, will ruin your day with this deck. Um, you really want to save this card specifically for that card, um, but also it's really great to pitch resources, get those things back. Um, uh, yeah, it's just a really easy way to out floodgates, back row, um, really prevalent, and I think this deck has a really strong turn two. You're always going second, blind second, every single time. Don't even think for one second that you can go first with this deck. I've made that mistake. Um, <laughs> moving on, Monster Reborn. Enough said. Run it in every single deck. This card is so good. Um, so yeah, going on to the spice of why we're talking about spells. Oh my god. Engage. That's right. We are running Sky Striker Trains. Bet you didn't expect that. This deck... So, so good with this. There's a lot of um, a lot of relevancy with this card. For one, you're just plussing Pot of Greed style with this and I deck. I thought that deck died last balance. Oh my gosh. No, as long as this card's at three, <laughs> I will run three in this deck. Because, yes, yeah, some people say it's only as strong as what it can search out, but it searches out spot removal, which is what That's this deck people. needs. Everybody says oh that. Oh my gosh. it's it's. <laughs> but you search amazing stuff yeah, with this card. It's a free card. draw card after you get three it's in the grave. It's a draw grade, card. So. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it helps you on yeah. to some other plays, which I'll get into. There's a, there's a lot of reasons of why this works so well in tandem with trains. Um, the token, only run one. I wish I could run three of this. Honestly, I would. Um, but, yeah, just need the one. One anchor, Ripa. We run one mm -hmm. now. 
Um, then two afterburns and one and two. Two, okay. We run the desires, so we don't want to be banishing our targets. Um, these are also shotgun spells. Really easy way to break opponents' boards. Um, if they're not relevant, you pitch them and you try to get as many spells in the grave as possible. Um, yeah, you'll be surprised at how well this deck functions with striker trains. Um, yeah, my uh, my very first round at the Brooklyn Regional, I drew to engage. So yeah, yeah, and auto I win right there. Won that match because of that. So um, <clears throat> so the yeah. extra deck. Now. Let's move on to the extra deck, and then we'll talk a little bit about why. His deck functions so well together with the strikers. So, not just two, but three. We're burning for 2k. This card, we can recur it with Super mm. Bullet Express. Like I said, it's not it's limited nice. to levels. You can put this back in the extra deck, reuse it. You want to be burning your opponent in most games. In my first turn, and you know, uh, turn two, I'll be summoning two of these to inflict the 4k. That way, in case my uh, my boss monster doesn't go through. I've still inflicted enough damage to facilitate my OTK. That's your one and only goal with this deck. You want to be summoning this as many times as possible, and I've won a lot of games by just burning my opponent and, you know, after inflicting some other damage. Okay. So, one Dora. Um, going first option. Yeah, going first option. There's also, like, some cute plays, like, against Altergeist, where... You Can't summon target this, it, yeah. And, yeah, and then you punch in, they try to chain, and, you know, it's a good way to get rid of negations if you know they're coming. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I, you know, maybe would run two if I wasn't running strikers, but mm -hmm. no need. Um, Sky Palace Gangaradai. Uh, Gangaradairi. Gangaradu. Mm -hmm. um, detach material, target card in the field, pop it, inflict a thousand, another burn card. You can also have the uh, heavy freight train underneath this, so you're popping two cards, inflicting a thousand. It's great, it's still a level 10 machine, so you can stack your uh, your boss monster on top of it. So this is an interesting tech choice. Um, Dyson. Chaos Dyson Sphere. This is your out to Thunder Dragon Colossus, your Avermax, uh, Dingirisu. You suck up a monster when you attack into it, and then no detach effect, you don't get that because it's not stacked on top of... Um, the number C or the number nine card. So you're not going to be able to detach material. So anything attached to this, you're not going to get that recurability, but you can inflict 300 damage for each material attached to it. So that is pretty relevant because you'll suck up a monster. Like each time I've had games where I've sucked up three monsters with this inflicting damage each time. Uh, surprisingly, this deck is a semi burn deck. So, <laughs> you know, um, Super Dimensional <laughs> Robot Galaxy Destroyer. The most fun card to fill out on your deck list. Um, this card is so, so good. It's a heavy storm for your opponent's side of the field, um, and they cannot respond to it. So in tandem with Red Reboot, they're losing their entire back row. So really, really fantastic card. Um, yeah, it's just an interesting tech choice against back row decks. Um, but yeah, it's just there to be cute. Um, moving on to why this deck is so, so good. Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Lieb, which is love in German. The ultimate this German tank. Zuba OTK machine itself. Detached material gains 2,000, and it can attack up to the number of materials plus one. So if you have one material, you can attack twice into monsters. And that's how you'll be doing your OTK, because it'll be 6K. So if you detach a material... Right, Derek Crane, pop their one monster. You've inflicted 2,000 with your Gustav. Hit them for six. That's 8K right there. That's how you get your OTK. Um, really simple to understand. And yeah, it's a great, great card. I only run two because it is recurrable. I've never, ever summoned three. You only need the two. One Pentastag. Uh, Pentastag is absolutely necessary, I feel like, because... There are a lot of situations where people leave their monsters in defense position, and you have this 6k monster that can attack multiple times, so that piercing damage really comes into play. That's if you have the ability to link up. It does take resources to get into this, but this is why we run the urgent schedule. This helps you get into links, so... Definitely, I think it's necessary. I wasn't running it for a bit, but then so many situations it comes up where it'll win you the game. Um, moving on, not one... But two, Double-Headed Anger Knuckle. Um, this is the train link, and this card is so, so amazing. So it has two effects. Um, the first one is during the main phase, quick effect, send a monster from the hand or field of the graveyard, 
target a level 10 machine in your graveyard, special summon it in defense, negate its effects. So it's really easy um, to tag itself out for a rank, uh, level 10. Um, this is also how you facilitate that ability of using your field spell during your opponent's turn, is that you can either send itself or one from your hand and uh, summon one from your grave, and then that'll trigger your field spell effect. So definitely two. I wouldn't run one. Um, many situations has come up where I need two. You'll also just need it to link off their weird mechanics that happen where you'll need that field, that field, field space gone. And especially with the striker cards, sometimes I'll send this to get the level 10, another level 10, and then I'll keep the rank 10 any extra monster zone, that way I have no main monster zones and my striker cards are still live. So definitely run two, it's such an amazing card. Um, its arrows are okay, and its second effect is really good is that during the main phase you can send a card from your field or your hand to the graveyard to summon it from the graveyard. Um, so that's pretty relevant, especially since it's actually kind of easy to make two rank 10s in this deck. Um, so getting that extra arrow during follow-up plays is pretty relevant and, you know, definitely run to this card. It's so amazing. It helped out trains a ton. Definitely brought this deck up to meta relevancy. Um, so moving on, let's just talk about the striker portions. One, two, and three. <laughs> it's all you need. Um, really, you don't want to focus on this, but it's a really nice engine that'll get you pluses. Um, this will get you your engage back. This will lower your opponent's monster's attack. That way that you can punch into them and inflict damage. And then Kina is how you get this bottom arrow to get your rank 10 down here. And it's also an earth machine so a lot of synergy with this deck so let me just show you how this works is you'll use your token to get your kagari you get your engage back you can go from there into your kana your kana now because it's an earth machine will trigger either your heavy freight train dare crane or your bullet express so now without a normal summon you have a rank 10 right below it from there, detach, inflict 2,000, pop a card with Dare Crane, and then rank up. Now you can tag out the Kaina for your Shizuku, lowering your opponent's attack points. Detach, now you have six. And yeah, so that's the synergy that happens here. And normally, if that doesn't OTK my opponent, I actually will link these off into the Knuckle. That way... I can use this during my opponent's turn. You you really want to go into this as often as possible. Um, but yeah, let me just show you some interesting interactions that happen with this deck. So this card, for sure, can conflict with your engage. But when you use this, you'll want to summon either these two monsters out. This can also be the Ruffian Rail car, but you'll link these away, right? Now you have your main monster zones cleared out. Now you can go into your engage plays right and you can get your kagari below it and then from here you can go into the kaina and that etc etc and from here right if you keep extending you can now tag this monster out for your level 10 down here and then come back up to the top and you'll rank up above it so um definitely does not conflict and there's a lot of synergies so yeah, that's um, that's the deck as a whole. Um, it ran really well for me at the Brooklyn Regional, and I highly, highly suggest if you are a trained player to give this variant a shot. Um, it's really efficient, and sometimes this deck is pure gas, and you will just be running over your opponents, and as long as you stay on track, you should arrive at OTK Station immediately. Um, anyway, corner jokes aside, that's the deck profile, guys. I hope you really enjoy this. My favorite deck. I really put a lot of love into this deck, and I've played it for a long time. And, um, yeah, I, I've had a lot of success with it. So highly recommend giving it a shot. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, thank you. Travis out.